Welcome to GarageBand, scoring your animation or video. Today we're going to look at a really cool way to bring your animation or video file into GarageBand, add some loops, which we call scoring, add some music, and re-export it as a completed file and movie. So let's get started. First off, go ahead and open GarageBand. If it's not on your dock, you can always open up our trusty little spotlight. Hit Command Spacebar, type in GarageBand, and launch from there. Either way it works. Now, when you get to the GarageBand project template area here, you may not have any of these on there automatically. So if you don't, just go ahead and double click New Project. We're going to name this New Project. P3, you're going to hit last first, SSF, final, scored, and depending on whatever project you're on, name it that, save this, it's going to save it to whatever directory you saved, I happen to save it on my desktop, and we have our basic GarageBand project open. Let me go ahead and highlight the grand piano, I'm going to go to track and delete this because I don't need it. And now we have a blank GarageBand project. Looks good. Now, let's go over to our Finder. And if you haven't figured out by now, the Finder is just simply your Windows Explorer, your Windows folders. It's exactly the same. I, I actually prefer this a lot better just because it's better organized and it has this really nice column view that you can quickly go through all of your folders. And so I'm just going to go ahead and click on my desktop. And I'm going to select Adam's walk cycle. Okay, this was the walk cycle that we did a few years. Okay, you, sorry, you do not want to double click it. The way we get your video into GarageBand is you simply grab it and drag and drop. Simple as that. If your movie contains no audio, GarageBand will let you know that. And in our case, since this was exported from Toon Boom, there was no audio included. We'll hit OK and it'll create our audio track and it looks great. Now there's a lot of really cool sound effects and music inside of GarageBand and the way you access these is on the bottom right click on this eyeball it'll bring up your browser and your loops and all of this good stuff. This right here will just show off. We do have jam packs that we have purchased and so the content that you see in our machines here at in the lab may not necessarily match up to what you may purchase at home or outside of our lab just because we have purchased additional content and all of these loops are available through Apple themselves. Now once we're in our browser here we need to start looking for some stuff. So first off let's look at the video. We can see that it's just a little guy doing a walk cycle. If you click on this icon here, it will give you a larger preview. And this is oftentimes an easier way to work. So we'll just look at what it is. It's about a four second walk cycle. Looks good. Great animation, great weight to it. Looks really, really good. Now, first and foremost, the most obvious choice that we can make is footsteps. So I'm going to go down here on the bottom right, type in footsteps, hit enter, and voila, footsteps. The way you preview these is simply click it once, and it will preview. Very simple. Now, just a quick little tip about searching. Oftentimes, we don't know the correct spelling of, let's say, footsteps, okay? We know how to spell foot, and we know how to spell steps, okay? But what if we didn't know that the two words were together. What if I typed footsteps separately and hit enter? Uh-oh, no results. So my advice to you is if it's one of these words that are kind of iffy and you're not really sure on the spelling, not necessarily the how to spell the word itself, but if it's one word or two, I oftentimes just type in one word, steps, and then GarageBand will actually find all loops that have the word steps in it. And in our case here, footsteps happens to be every single one of these result, uh, results. So let's go ahead and grab this footsteps bear run one. OK, 
kind of feels feels about the same pace. So I'm just going to grab this loop here since I like it and drag it over. Now you'll notice that it creates a new Foley track and I'm able to now scrub through this with our new sound effect. Looks cool. As far as sound effects, there's two main edits. One is this looping edit, which will allow you to continue the loop itself. So now that I've done that, I can you can see that this will continue to loop and it'll just play. And it usually for the most part matches up very nicely. GarageBand is intended to do that as far as loops. So that's on the top right of the actual track, the loop itself. On the bottom right, you'll notice that my mouse cursor changes to this little edit tool. Now this tool will allow me to actually trim it down some. So instead of this being all the way out here and it stops there, I can actually trim it to exactly what I need, which is I believe about there. So let me go home, play this, and beautiful. Okay, sound effect number one. Now let's just add a little bit of music. So I'm gonna click now. I'm gonna go up here to my these selections up here and let's try something. Let's see, we're not dark, we're not distorted. Let's do something cheerful. And it'll give you a bunch of again, a bunch of bunch of loops. La, 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 la. Nice. Dixie style to an ocean way. Dixie. Hey baby. <laughs> hey baby. A lot of really cool stuff. So hey, I'm just gonna grab baby. this 80s. I love the 80s, and this is spot on. So we're gonna grab this over here. You'll notice now that the that track itself, this little synth track is really short so what I want to do is I'm gonna to want to loop this a few times so I'm gonna click on the top right and just loop it a few times uh, maybe twice actually is perfect so I'm gonna go home again play this and there you go and you'll notice too is all these loops and beautiful a lot of the times students make mistakes where they have hard cuts and it becomes really kind of it, it really it really shows that it's student work and Students generally don't end off music tracks that well. So GarageBand will help you in that where, where that ends, it ends beautifully. And also video, you might want to end that with a nice little fade. So it goes from the end of your music track to the end of video, slow fade, looks great. Now again, you can continue to add a bunch of tracks on here. There's really no limit to what you can add. I recommend to keep it simple, add the effects you need, don't overdo it. I know it's easy and fun to overdo it, but the simpler you do it, the simpler you make your animation, the more engaging it's going to be. You don't want your audience to be distracted by all of your sound effects and music. See? Way too much. So if I were to, let me just mute this track for a second. Okay. Now, just one quick little, also this is more a little bit more advanced, but if you click this little automation right here for the your volume, you can turn this on, and at this point, you can actually click and drag your volume levels. And this will allow you to spike it at some points, and then bring it down, or you, you can imagine the, the possibilities here. Um, this is generally used for fading out tracks as well. So let's say I wanted this little last section to fade, I could do that as well. So you'll notice now. Okay, it just it just goes up and down. Um, so that's a cool way to to create some some more kind of dynamic, particularly here in the fading area. So if I wanted to, let me go ahead and just delete these for a second, and you'll see here at the end that it kind of fades out. So that's kind of nice. If you want it or not, that's kind of like, this is a little bit more advanced and you can get really, really involved in that. But uh, for advanced editing, if you want, want to go into that, it's there. But beyond that, let me actually bring up my audio just a little bit. Here's your master track volume. Mine was down for, because I was messing with those, uh, that automation. And simple as that. Okay, looks great. When you are done with the actual movie, you're gonna go up to share and we're gonna export movie to disc. We're gonna choose, you might be selected on expert setting. I want you to go ahead and change that to full quality so we don't lose 
any quality when we export this it'll keep it at 720p our audio will remain high and our estimated file size should remain low go ahead and export this type in whatever period you're in last first and whatever project you're in and export that to disk what you'll notice that is GarageBand exports this, this extremely quickly this was a four second clip it took not even two seconds to completely export now when I go over to my completed movie and hit play on this guy here you'll notice that looks great go ahead and submit that to Dropbox and you're done